Hey everybody, I have a Dollar Tree haul today. I stopped at the Dollar Tree after work. I needed a couple things and I picked up some things that I didn't need, but I didn't go overboard. Some things that I'll show you new that I never saw there before. Um, you might have seen them there before, seen them there before, but I didn't. So here we go. First, I got two of these. The um, just regular paper towels, according to them, this is 25% more sheets. I don't know about that, but there are uh, 26 sheets per roll. They are the two ply. So I got two of those. I go through paper towels a lot for just a single woman, whether I use them just for napkins or just cleaning glass, wiping off counters. I use them for a lot and I go through them a lot. This, um, this Valetti's, is that the brand? Valetti Teriyaki Marinade. I use this a lot. It's really good. Um, I don't do a whole lot of food from the Dollar Tree, but I do condiments like this. And yeah, get yourself some of this. But don't get the Utopia Pancake Syrup. If you saw that video, you know what I'm talking about. Do not buy the Utopia pancake syrup from the Dollar Tree, but do buy this, the Valetti's Teriyaki Marinade. I use that in stir fries and stuff, and it's just good. Um, another repeat buy is the Sweet Pickles. This is the Breckenridge Farms Sweet Pickles. My last Aldi haul, I bought regular dill pickles, but I do like the Sweet Pickles, so get yourself some of those. This was cute. They're just starting to put out fall stuff. I bought this little bottle because this is going to look really cute on um, my tear tray when I decorate it for the fall. It's just a little glass bottle. It has a cork um, up top. See? Cute little cork. It has like a, a little uh, checkered or gingham or whatever ribbon. The glass has like a greenish little tint to it and it says Harvest Festival and it has some pumpkin on it. So I thought that would look cute on my tear tray when I decorate it for the fall. For whatever reason, I am always breaking my wine glasses. And I, I don't know, this, it, this came from the Dollar Tree, but it's not a thin, thin glass, but I like these. It's like a smoky, smoky looking glass. So, I always have two and I end up breaking one. I think it's just from washing it by hand because I don't use my dishwasher. I don't use my dishwasher because it's broken and I don't have a problem hand washing anyways. But anyways, so I had to buy another wine glass because I broke the last one I bought from there. And I like to have a pair just in case someone comes over and wants a glass of wine with me, just in case. Um, I bought I bought three of these. Yes, I did. I bought three of these Sure Scent Apple and Cinnamon candles. There's one, two, and three. And these are just the three ounce apple cinnamon candles, but these are strong. For a Dollar Tree brand, which I don't know if I've ever seen Sure Scents anywhere but the Dollar Tree, but for getting these at the Dollar Tree, they're really strong and they I like to use these small candles just as like a little accent burning around the living room on the coffee table or even um, on top of my stove but again these sure scents are really good really good there are some candles that you get at the Dollar Tree that might smell good when you you know just smell it through at the store but when you burn it it doesn't smell but these sure scents are good so get you some of these sure scents the Dollar Tree brand is, I think, Luminous. I haven't had good luck with the Luminous as far as um, being fragrant when you're burning it. So again, sure scent, get yourself some of those. Another air freshener I picked up, it's a motorcycle going by, picked up this for my bathroom. It's just the Renews It, and this is after the rain. It's the gel, um, you know, air fresheners, and I just put that in my bathroom because my bathroom's very small, it's a small space. What else did I get? I'm always picking these up um, just for $1.25. The cleansing cloths, and I wash my face with these. I go through these a lot. There are 
25 clots in these. So I'm, I'm always using one or two in the shower, put a little Nuxema on my face, and then I just wash my face with these. Yeah, so I've got that. This is something I usually don't buy myself, is paper plates. So I will make myself supper, whatever it will be, and it's in like a glass bowl or a you know glass plate or ceramic bowl, ceramic plate or whatever. But at night, if I'm watching TV and I wanna have a little snack like a cheese and crackers, I don't wanna always go and you know, dirty up uh, another dish or saucer or bowl. So I said, you know, let me get myself some paper plates. And I think paper plates are a waste of money because you're just throwing this away. It's kind of like throwing out your money. Then again, toilet paper and paper towels are the same, right? And you can use anything as a, as a paper towel. I've seen people just use like dish towels. But you can't just use anything for toilet paper. Um, I don't know how I'm getting on this conversation about throwing out toilet paper. Toilet paper is a necessity. But paper plates, you're kind of uh, throwing out your money. But when you're lazy and you just don't want to wash another dish, get yourself some paper plates. That's the whole reason why I got these. That's what I'm trying to get at. Paper plates, don't want to wash a dish. There's 50 of these, so there's 100. I usually don't have a snack every night, but just chance I want to, I get 100 of these. I can have 100 snacks without washing a dish, right? Right. All right, um, fall's coming up, and I will start wearing my flats again, my little flats that I wear to work. So I got these. These are the Juncture little um, peds. So this is just one pair. So I got two pairs of those. I usually get, um, you know, the flesh colored ones and black ones. So a while ago, a while ago, I picked up a piece of furniture on the side of the road. You might remember the bench, and it's black on the bottom, and like a um, like a off white um, on top, but the vinyl was cracking. I still haven't done anything about it, and that's like a half a year ago, um, if you saw that video. So I've just been thinking, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been thinking, what am I going to use to seal that? I didn't, didn't know what to use to seal cracked vinyl, so I'm thinking clear glue. If I take this clear glue and just go over it, I'm not going to like chip the vinyl off. I'm going to just keep it the way it is and seal it with clear glue. So I bought three of these, three of these, and I bought um, some of these brushes to go over it. And um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to seal that with the clear glue. And I was thinking it might even look cool, like a distressed look, a distressed look with the cracked on the vinyl. Do you know what I'm talking about? I should probably bring you in my room and show you what I'm talking about. Yes. So you know what? We interrupt this Dollar Tree haul to show you the cracked vinyl piece in my room. And when I'm done showing you that, we're going to come back and look at the rest of this Dollar Tree haul. Hold on. Okay. Do you remember? Do you remember when I picked up this piece of furniture? All right, and I brought it in my room, and I showed you that the vinyl here is all cracked. All right. It was just a free piece of furniture that I got on the side of the road, and I really liked it. There was nothing wrong with it except for the cracks in the vinyl. So I'm thinking the clear glue might... Um, seal it and prevent it from cracking anymore it might and you know what and if it doesn't look good I guess I could always probably just wash that glue off but I think it might seal it and I actually kind of like that distressed cracked look but it's always getting on my floor so yeah all right so that is the cracked vinyl I'm talking about so let's go back out and finish my Dollar Tree haul Okay, so that is the cracked vinyl. 
and I don't know if you noticed that my bedspread's not the mauve one that I had there recently. That's my summer quilt. So anyways, I'm thinking this clear glue might work. It might. I'll let you know. All right, back to this Dollar Tree haul. What else do I have? I think just a couple more things. I'm kind of crazy today, aren't I? All over the place, all over the place. It must be because Pee Wee Herman died. Oh my goodness, I'm so really sad about that. At, let me get through this and then we'll talk about Pee Wee Herman. Okay, so these um, natural pumpkin picks, these are cool. These are cool. This almost looks like, um, not wicker, it's like a braided um, straw. All right, so it's pumpkin. There's one and a brown one. And this is like a natural um, straw uh, tan one there. Then, wicked cute, wicked cute acorn pick. Aren't this cute? It, or aren't this, is this cute? These little acorns, they're like, um, like a velvet with like a styrofoam inside. But then they got these little things here. And that's that. And I got these, they're called the silver dollar, but um, the silver dollar that I remember, this is like a phase in their growth or their changing because these actually, when they're full bloom or whatever you want to call it, they turn white. So yeah, they didn't have any of the white ones. So I got two, hello, I got two of these. So what I'm gonna do with these is I'm gonna make some kind of arrangement with these and the acorns and these things. Okay, so I'm gonna do something with that, probably for my coffee table when fall comes. So I think I showed you everything that I got at the Dollar Tree. Yes, the paper plates, all that good stuff. So that's just my little Dollar Tree haul for this afternoon. So let's talk about Pee Wee Herman. That's sad. Pee Wee Herman, when I had my firstborn, my oldest daughter, when she was about four, she used to watch Pee Wee's Playhouse every Saturday, every Saturday, Saturday faithfully. And then she got this Pee Wee Herman doll, and he was probably about, oh, he, was, he wasn't huge, but he wasn't the size of a Barbie. He was a doll, and you pulled a string on his back, and it was just the typical Pee Wee Herman stuff that he would say. And I remember she and I went down to Florida, we brought her to Disney World. I think she was just about three or four. And she brought that Pee Wee Herman doll on the airplane. And um, I thought it was funny. She thought it was funny. The rest of the plane did not think that Pee Wee Herman doll was very funny. Mid-flight, you got Pee Wee Herman, you know, pulling the string. But it, it was funny at the time. Um, and then that Pee Wee's Big Adventure and then he did the Pee Wee's Big Top, but the Pee Wee's Big Adventure, when he loses his bike, yeah, that is a um, classic, classic, classic movie with Large Marge and all the, just the little Pee Wee Herman stuff, like when he's cooking breakfast and all that. And I don't know. I don't know if anyone else really liked Pee Wee Herman, but I was really sad to hear um, about his passing. Sad to hear about his passing. So this was my Dollar Tree haul with a twist. I hope you're all well. I am going to eventually sometime this week do the clear glue on the vinyl. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but if it does, I will show it to you and um, yeah. So anyways, have a good night. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.